This is how to set up the Netgear EAX15. Quick heads up before you start, make sure that your router is connected to the internet and broadcasting Wi-Fi and your extender is plugged in next to your router and the power indicator on the extender glows solid green light. And now let's get started. I'll show you three ways how to connect this extender and the easiest one is WPS. You just need to press the WPS button on your extender and then locate the WPS button on your router and press it too. If you don't have the physical uh, WPS button on your router, you can find the virtual button in the router configuration panel. How to access to the panel is another question. You can find this information in your router's user manual because it's different for each router, of course. And now uh, you need to uh, look on the LEDs on the extender you will see green power LED, then green rotor LED, it means connection to the rotor, and green um, WPS LED, it means that secure connection is established. Uh, second from the bottom, this LED means that no devices are connected to the extender now. Let's fix this. So the connection is established because we have Three, this this three green lights now uh, let's now I'm connected to my second rotor and this rotor is named my Wi-Fi but we don't see here the separate network for this extender because this is, is the mesh extender and uh, while connecting via WPS it automatically creates the mesh network it's a seamless network uh, and all extenders in this network uh, has have the same name as your main rotor so if i just connect to my wi-fi 2.4 gigahertz for example my smartphone will connect to the closest to the nearest device just wait a li little bit uh, probably the Wi-Fi signal from the rotor is better, that's why my smartphone pre prefers to connect to the rotor in one mesh network. Uh, okay, let's try to connect to my Wi-Fi 5. Yes, uh, and so far the 5 gigahertz signal from the extender is better than from the rotor and that's why uh, my smartphone prefers to connect to extender. Uh, it's wonderful because all your gadgets will automatically connect at the best speed. So let's go ahead, let's connect uh, in other way. Now let's connect the extender via smartphone. To do this, you need the Nighthawk application to be installed. It's, it's available in Play Store and in App Store, Netgear Nighthawk Wi-Fi Rotor. So let's install this application. Once installed, let's open. Agree to the terms and conditions. I agree. Uh, notifications, maybe later auto connect using location services this is handy let's allow while using the app uh, if you don't have the netgear account you have to create it but i already have the account so let me skip the creation it's super simple let me just log in uh, none of the above touch id maybe later maybe never uh, two-step verification maybe later for now let's just connect to Wi-Fi now you see the screen you can go to dashboard but uh, I don't have dashboard so far I need to set up something uh, first off so let's select range extender from this list and now uh, the application recommends you to place your extender halfway between your rotor and an area with a poor Wi-Fi signal, but I'll do it later. Let me just set up it near my router. Uh, tap on next, plug in the extender, already done. Make sure that you have the green power LED signal. 
tap on next and now you need to join nighthawk network so let's go to wi-fi settings wait for a while netgear ext that's what we need let's connect to netgear ext network once connected let's go back to the application and personalize your settings okay we have only one button here let's tap on that choose country or region i am in europe everything's fine and now let's connect your extender to your router okay i, I agree Uh, now set like an existing 2.4 gigahertz network you would like to extend uh, my router's name is my wi-fi so i'm selecting this network and 5 gigahertz network and here i must enter my current wi-fi password and if you use different passwords for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz network you need to uncheck this box then you can enter a different password and tap on next when you're ready and just just wait for a while something's underway passwords verified connecting to my wi-fi 5 gigahertz uh, as I've told before, this extender uh, doesn't create separate networks. Uh, it uh, creates a mesh network, so you have a unified username and password for your Wi-Fi. So it's connected to extender, but but it's too long. Wait for one minute. Let's wait. Well, if you see this screen, join uh, Night Nighthawk network, it means the connection failed and then try to do next. Go to your Wi-Fi settings uh, and try to manually connect to this network. Let's try my Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz. So uh, the device automatically detects the better signal and uh, connects to the device uh, where the speed is highest possible. Uh, okay, it means the 5 GHz signal from the router is better uh, and my smartphone prefers router so let's try to connect via 2.4 gigahertz network let's go to 2.4 gigahertz once you see the connected status go back to the application that's it success let's tap on next and here you need to uh, set up your administrator login you need to create password to manage your extender settings from different gadgets and different browsers. This password has to be at least 10 symbols long and in include one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter. And that's okay. Administration. Good password to me. Uh, let's step on next one touch maybe later and this is set up security questions if you if you forget your password you can uh, re reset your password after answering these questions let me go simple here and just i'm just entering a and b so far it's up and running that's it let's step on next and now you are in the application settings menu here you can test the internet speed manage wi-fi settings manage the connected devices uh, manage your account contact support um, but this is just only about 30 percent of possible uh, settings because if you wish full control to have a full control over your extender you need to log in from the web browser now uh, let's go on i'll show you how to set up via uh, your desktop so to connect via your mac or pc first of all you need to go to the wi-fi settings and connect to the network which is named netgear ext let's connect 
and then go to your web browser and in the address bar type in Wi-Fi ext.net or if you're using Mac type in dot local but I'm using Windows so Wi-Fi ext.net and then press enter and it takes you to the Netgear welcome screen. Uh, if you failed to access this welcome screen, try to use different browser, disable firewall or, or disable antivirus uh, for a while, for for a couple of, for 10 minutes. Uh, new extender setup, that's what we need. Agree to the terms and conditions. And uh, then you need to create your username and password at username be admin this is username that i will need in future to access the extender settings and the password let it be not too simple but not too difficult never mind just create the password and uh, and write it down somewhere to not forget uh, then select the security questions using these questions you can reset the password if you forgot it and uh, what is it security questions uh, and click on next regional settings I am in Europe so that's okay for me uh, here you need to choose how do you wish to use your device as an access point or as mesh extender access point means the device is connected via Ethernet cable directly to your router so now we need the extender option it's scanning for available networks let's wait okay uh, I want both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks so my router's name is my Wi-Fi so let me select my Wi-Fi 2.4 and my Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz uh, then click on next uh, in this window I need to enter my current Wi-Fi password which is four times one four times zero of course you have different password you can show password to see what you type in if you're um, if you're using different passwords for different bands you can uncheck this box and enter the different password here otherwise check this box back on uh, then click on next uh, now enter a network name and security settings so uh, you can enable one Wi-Fi name or rename your networks uh, creating separate networks for the extender let me enable just one Wi-Fi name and click on next one Wi-Fi name is much more much more simple your devices will connect for the fastest possible speed through your home and you don't need to care about entering passwords and reconnecting to different extenders once again and once again applying settings this may take a couple of minutes Once you've got this screen in front of you, you can close this tab and connect your devices to your uh, network, but relocate the extender to the Wi-Fi uh, spotty area or dead zone, but remember that it must be in the router's range. Uh, 
so uh, next you can open new tab here and once again once again type in my wi-fi ext.net press enter you are not connected to your extenders network it's because my laptop prefers router because for now it has better signal in this case you can try to connect to 2.4 gigahertz network let's try this connected secured let's try it again your connection is not private this is because uh, you don't you don't have the HTTPS here uh, it's okay because you are at home and this is your home uh, network so uh, click on advanced and proceed to my Wi-Fi ext now log in using your created username and passwords you can check remember me here to not do it again login so extender has successfully connected to your existing network uh, click on next accept mm, cookies uh, this window you can close once again and you don't need to uh, create uh, an account if you don't want to or you can log in for more functions such as cloud services but you can just log in to the admin panel once again and here you have a different settings the most important to me uh, on the be in the beginning to is to make the uh, backup of your settings so when you are done with your settings wireless connected devices and, and everything when, when everything is okay and you have the successful configurations go to other tab and create a backup file here it allows you to restore your settings in case if you need to reset the device but you have to remember password I mean the device password to do this so I recommend you to write it down somewhere so later, if you have the backup file later you can browse for for this file right here upload the file and click on restore and you you know you don't have to set up your device from scratch if, if it's reset it by the way if you if you click on backup and see this message unverified download blocked you need to click on this arrow and click on download unverified file so now your file is downloaded uh, that's it you're all set connected to the internet uh, and i hope this was helpful subscribe thanks for watching be awesome bye guys